Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review, and today we're taking a look at the new Transformers Masterpiece MP19 Smokescreen figure uh, from Takara Tommy. Uh, and like with all the Masterpiece figures, this uh, one comes in the standard box packaging with a uh, black, uh, basically black with silver highlights. Um, up in the left hand corner, you've upper left hand corner, you've got the Transformers Masterpiece logo. In the middle, you've got the Nissan logo, since uh, Smokescreen is a Nissan vehicle. And then on the right side, you have the Takara Tommy logo. And then you have picture of both robot and vehicle mode for the figure. And then down below, you have the MP19, um, the name of the the toy and his his position in the Autobot army uh, which apparently is Cybertron or Cybertron divisionary tactician uh, so I guess he uh, he his job is to call, cause diversions probably with his smoke um, which is his ability um, and then you know one side you've got Ambrose, the Transformers masterpiece, again with the name and the MP19 and everything. Uh, you've got picture of the vehicle in car mode on one side and in robot on the other. And then on the back you have a bunch of Japanese writing um, and then some pictures of the toy uh, showing off some of its features and accessories. Uh, also showing it next to the Masterpiece Optimus Prime in both robot mode and then showing that it fits in Prime's trailer just like we saw with uh, the Masterpiece Prowl and Masterpiece Blue Streak. Okay, so let's get this open and take a look at the figure inside. Okay, so just like with all the Masterpieces, um, this figure comes with an instruction sheet um, all in Japanese writing, so you know, really if you're, uh, unless you read Japanese, you basically have to go by the pictures, um, which are somewhat clear on how to transform and everything, but can sometimes be a little confusing. Uh, but for the most part, like I said, especially if you've already owned the Prowl and the Blue Streak, you know how to transform this one. It's pretty much the same. Um, then this one also, uh, like with all the others, comes with a little bio card that has art of the character. Um, and then on the back side has some stats. Zoom in here so you can see those. Okay, so here's a look at the actual uh, figure. Um, when you take, first take him out of the packaging, he comes in his vehicle mode. Um, you see he comes with his standard uh, colors, G1 uh, colors of red, white, and blue. Um, he's got his race number 38 on, the, on both doors. However, he does not have it on the hood like I believe the original G1 did. He does have some additional decals and detailing uh, that I think was kind of missing on Prowl and, and Blue Streak. Um, now I don't I don't think these were decals that were found on the original G1 toy that I recall. I don't have the original G1 toy to compare, but I don't remember having like smoke tactics or slot fever or huck disturbance or devcon oil as, as decals on the original toy. Um, these seem to be unique to the masterpiece, I believe. But I, I, I like it's an added touch. He's also got the smoke tactics on his windshield. Um, which is nice. Now, even though the body type is basically the same as was used for the Masterpiece Prowl and Blue Streak, um, just like with the original generation toy, there are some differences. Mostly on the front end with the bumper. Um, the bumper and the front end of the car are designed to look more like a, a race car, which is nice. So you can see like it doesn't have the drop down like or smoke screen has the drop down whereas prowl and uh, blue streak did not so basically your differences come in the bumper area and the main differences um, also smoke screen has a spoiler on the back which was not which did you know you did not have on on either of prowl 
or uh, Blue Street. Um, Smokescreen does have the windshield wiper blade, even though you can't see it as well because of the spoiler. Um, he has, um, obviously, Prowl had the light bar, which is not on, you don't find on Blue Streak or Smokescreen. Smokescreen has the sunroofs, but they're colored in, so they're not transparent like on Blue Streak. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty much the same. Uh, you've got like the gas cap on the back, like you saw with the others. Um, you've got the vents on the hood, like you saw with the others. Now, another difference um, between Smokescreen and the other two is with his accessories. With, with Smokescreen, he comes with separate missile launchers or shoulder launchers, shoulder cannons, whatever you want to call them. Um, whereas on Prowl and, and Blue Streak, they were attached to the figure and much smaller and sleeker. I actually like these better because they're more reminiscent of the G1 uh, counterpart. And because they're detachable, they've made these little holes on the, on the hood here so that you can actually attach them in car mode as well which is kind of cool. They just kind of tab in. So that uh, basically he has like hood cannons, which I think are, look kind of cool. Um, he's also got the same kind of feature where you can open up, if you pop open um, the hood here, then you can pull up this little tab. Uh, now this is just like with Blue Streak um, and then you can close it back up but once you do that then you have basically the ability to attach his gun just like with the others um, on his hood now I don't really like this look of the gun on the hood I think it looks kind of cheesy though I do think it looks better with the, all three cannons so he's got not only additional firepower I think it looks a little bit better Plus, the, the gun does raise up in the air, so you kind of have articulation there. Um, but that's, again, just like with Blue Streak, where you have to pop it up with Prowl, because of the light bar, the hole was already there. Um, so that's another little minor difference. Okay, so I'm going to forego the transformation sequence on this review. Um, for the most part, the transformation process of smokescreen is exactly the same as what we saw with Prowl and Blue Streak. So if you want to see how those were transformed, you can go back and look at those reviews. Um, now I do want to point out there are a couple minor differences between smokescreen and uh, MP Prowl and MP Blue Streak. Um, basically, um, with the arms, the way you transform a uh, smoke screen is you have the wheels pointing upwards um, as opposed to back, you know, in the back. Um, and then he doesn't have the shoulder, uh, the shoulder panels like you saw with Prowl and Blue Street. So there's a little bit difference there. Um, you can see with how the arms are transformed. Uh, still basically the same process and everything. You just want to make sure that the wheels are sticking upwards as opposed to um, back in the back. Uh, then the other difference comes with the shoulder cannons. Because on this one the shoulder cannons are detachable. Um, basically with this one you just end up pulling out these blue tabs um, instead of the actual cannons. And then you take the detachable cannons um, and you attach, there's a little hole in the back of the cannons, and you just slide them in. So you want to make sure that this little tab that sticks down is on the inside, you know, towards, is facing the, the head of the figure, basically. Um, and you just stick the tab in, um, into the cannon, and then it just fits on his hood like that basically. And you do it for both sides. And there you go. 
Now the, the cannons for the most part fit pretty good onto the hood. Uh, there's a little separation between the cannons and the hood and the cannons kind of do this V type of thing a little bit so they're not totally straight up but it looks pretty good and again I like these cannons more than what we saw with Prowl and Blue Streak because I think they're more reminiscent of what we saw in like the cartoon and in the original toys and everything. Um, he also comes with a with a gun just like Prowl and Blue Streak did. Very similar design, a little bit difference in the sculpting between the weapons so they're not exactly the same. Um, and then Blue Streak also has the blue handle as opposed to the gray that we saw with uh, Blue Streak's gun and the white that we saw with Prowl's gun. They do have the same kind of feature though where the handle folds in if you want to use the gun in vehicle mode or have him hold it. And then just like with the others, he has slits in both hands that um, you can put the weapon in and he holds it nice and tight once you, once you get it in there. And you can fold the fingers closed. So, articulation wise, again, it's basically the same that we saw with uh, Prom Blue Streak. Um, he's got the head that will turn left and right, no problem, and has some up movement. I uh, can't really look down, but you know, mainly because he's got the hood that sticks out, the hood of the car. Um, the cannons, you know, even though these are detachable, they have the same kind of movement that you have with the with the others. You know, so if you want them to point upwards, you you can. Um, they look, they don't look quite as good pointing upwards, but you can also have the figure. You know, you can lift the figure's roof up or hood up, so that he's kind of looking upwards, and the cannons are pointing more upwards. Um, he's got good movement in the arms, shoulders, you know, the arms are attached with ball joints which pop out pretty easily and you can pop right back in. Um, as I mentioned, the hood, you can kind of, if you wanted to have more movement looking upwards, you can lift the, the entire hood up to give him some movement. Um, and if you wanted to look down, then you can move the hood down so he's looking more down. He's got swivel at the waist, so he can look left and right at the waist. Um, he's got the jointed, uh, basically kind of double jointed elbows, so he's got good bending at the elbows. And then he's got swivel, uh, swivel wrists. And then, just like with the others, he's got the articulated fingers that all one piece so it's not individually articulated fingers but you can lift the fingers all at once up and down uh, the thumbs are not articulated at all so the thumbs don't move then he's got again the legs are basically attached um, with a swivel type joint so he's got pretty good up up and back movement um, he's got the good movement at the knee and then obviously doesn't really have any kind of ankle articulation. Uh, you can kind of move the ankle up and down for, as such, but for the most part. You know, and again, this is pretty much, like I said, exactly like we saw with, with Blue Streak and Prowl, so not really anything different there. So that about does it for my review. Overall, I like this uh, Masterpiece uh, smokescreen. I actually like it a little bit better than uh, the Prowl and the Blue Streak, um, just because I think it's a little bit nicer in the way of detailing. I like the extra decals, um, unlike Prowl, which I thought was a little too plain. Um, I like how the shoulder cannons look on this one better than the other two, um, even though they're they're you know come off. I like that they're more reminiscent of the G1 counterpart and everything. Um, I think it's got, you know, it's even though it's using the same body mold as Prowl and uh, Blue Streak, I think it's got just enough uniqueness to it with the spoilers, uh, the front of the car with the bumper. Um, it's got a little bit more unique head sculpt. Um, 
well not more unique but it's unique to you know it looks different than the other two um, though each of them you know in that regard have their own unique head sculpt basically but uh, I like how this one looks and so I think it, it'll make a good addition to your masterpiece collection um, especially if you were a fan of the original uh, G1 smokescreen uh, then I think you'll definitely like this one uh, so uh, it's, it's hitting e-tailers now so you know be sure to check your favorite e-tailer if you want to pick this one up and until next time I'll check you later